Hootenanny, and welcome to 2012. It's my first this week of this year, and and that means that I've now been going on YouTube for a whole year. The 8th of January was when I started up, and that date is past, and my channel is a year old. So, yeah. If you consider what I've got up to over the last year, video-wise... It's a bloody potato. Oh my god! Soren, Sorensen, you're a Soren, Sorensen. I gotta put them in my mouth, oh yeah! Good 140-something vids churned out in a good 12 months. That's a production rate. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised, to be honest, every time I look at that figure that I've put out that many videos when there are people around on YouTube who've been on it for a good three or four years and they've yet to <laughs> achieve the video count that I have. Maybe that says something good about me. But I'm a complete beast, um, but I know what it does say, it says I enjoy making my videos, and I do. Past few weeks there has been a little bit of a drought, I'm sorry, it's been Christmas, I've been busy, there's been things going on, and things to sort out, and now I find myself with a little bit of free time to speak to you about, well, my first lot of new robots for this year, but also to say to everyone watching, all my subscribers over the year, anyone who's just had a look at one of my vids, put a comment, said hello, helped me along with things, maybe helped me out with some video stuff, or even sent me something. Thank you, everyone. Everyone of my, I don't know what it is now, 80 subscribers I think I've got. It was 81 the other day, and then it was 79, and uh, it's going up and down a bit. Which is bad. I was hoping I'd hit 100 before the year was out, but it didn't happen. Despite the well wishing of a certain Rave 9 on that subject. So, a year on, we can look back at my evolution to video. I'm not going to say finesse because I'm still a bit rough around the edges, everyone knows that, but then I, I can't make things perfect. The things I have at my disposal here are not exactly cutting room level, are they? So I'm I'm pleased with where I am now. I'm pleased with where I sit in the TFC. Um, I feel really happy to have sort of found this place and that I'm now part of it, and people know my name, and it's it's so great to have all these sort of internet -y friends and acquaintances but I will continue to endeavour to be a people's person of the TFC reply to all the comments I get and say hello to everyone and definitely thank every single one of you for subscribing every time so enough about all that on to the plastic first up I will show you little cyberverse guzzle. Now I didn't get him this week, I got him a week or two ago. Yeah, um, I got, I think he was the first thing I got after Christmas with some of my Christmas money. Finally found one in the Tesco's down here and thought, oh yes I'll get him, I've got money coming out of my ears. Um, and then promptly the same day walked into a Smythes and an Asda and saw one there for a fiver, and I paid the full, like, eight quid. Oh, that was painful, but I don't mind. He's big and small all at the same time, and I like him. I'm just afraid I'm gonna lose these tiny guns every time. They're so small, and they don't really fit in his hand that tightly either. Might just have to chuck them in a box and forget about them forever. Uh, up next, something I got on Tuesday, did some shopping to sort out some stuff before I went back to Bristol on Wednesday for an exam on Thursday and I came home on Friday. Little 
Battle of Steel, Optimus Prime, for a fiver. I just thought, it's a fiver, why not? It's actually a really nice repaint. As repaints go, it's ten times better than the normal Cyberverse Prime, so very, very nice. And you get some guns and swords which you can stick on any which way you like, and they do a sort of stealth force thing. And very, very nice. I'm very happy with them. Certainly for a fiver. And then the weekend, I was at my dad's shop. Yes, my dad runs a comic shop. And this item was sitting on the shelf still. It had been there since the summer, and I kept thinking, you know, I'll, I'll probably actually have it. So I chucked some money in my own till, as it were, for a mudslinger. He's pretty nice. I do like him. Um, something about his sort of squat, sort of <laughs> sort of look. Um, I do, do find his arms a bit annoying though, because his shoulders aren't here where they should be. They're sort of silly, ball jointy things which don't ever move in the way you want. But you know, what are you gonna do? Monster drunk mode. I actually like a lot more than I thought I was going to. Very nice. He's a cool little dude. And of course, you get some crazy awesome drones to stick on. This has got to be the best one. Come on, look at it. It's like it's like a Lamborghini with a cow catcher stuck on the front. Everyone needs a set of Death Race Mad Max themed swappable limbs with floppy rockets. Looking at this one though, the dune buggy, see those guns there, yeah, yeah, they're aiming straight at the wheels, and then when it's an arm, they don't aim anywhere, they just go straight up. What's the point of that? But there we are, those are the transforms I got this week. I'm suitably happy with all of them, and Mudslinger probably the most, I don't know. His combined mode is a bit ooh to me because he's, well, I, I can show you, basically. His combined head is, it's like a bull or something with really, really stretched out sunstreak ears. I don't know what's going on there. I don't really like that, but it's unique. I've got to say his torso mode has got to be one of the worst. You can see his hands and it's all bleh, but still, when you get drones like a rocket powered armoured car to stick on, then who gives a damn? So, this is going to be a sort of repeat of one of my earlier episodes, as it were, as I say to you that this will probably be the last time you see me here again. But then I suppose you've all got used to me being down in Bristol in my horrible yellow room. I'm leaving again and I'll be there till April and oh god the work. But uh, At least I've got some good friends to go back to. I should have some good times but the work is not going to be good. We all failed the exam on Thursday, let's put it that way. We know we did. Everyone thought exactly the same thing. As soon as it was over, we all looked around at each other and we all just like... <laughs> just looking like, what was that? And yeah, so... Either I do a reset in the summer or I have to get my finger out and do a lot more work for the second module so I can pass. Otherwise, I get kicked right out, you know. Wee, wee. I'm going to say goodbye to you now, and once again, thank you for the year that was 2011, and I look forward to my video exploits of 2012 as we move into the end of the world. And no, no, no. It's like if years had gimmicks, this one doesn't have the Olympics as a gimmick, it has the fact it could be the apocalypse, but very, very, very likely won't be. Look forward to some 
epic stuff coming from me this year. <laughs> what am I saying? I've got nothing planned. Let's face it. <laughs> There's stuff I need to finish that I've had on the go since the summer and just haven't been bothered to do. Maybe you see that this year. <laughs> Might be next. But as always, I'll be here to just go completely mental and show you some things you might not have thought you could see. One of them possibly being a lemur. Who knows? Here's to another year of loose screws.